Hello. It's your boy instinct. Business in Nigeria is such that you can almost impossible start if you're not on the right ground and on the right track. If you don't know what your business is all about, you don't know who the customers are, and you don't know how to get to them, then it is almost impossible for you to start business here. Business owners over here complain of the economic situation, the falling rate of the Naira to dollar, and how hard it is to get capital from most of the financial institutions to kick off their business. But here today I am with a young guy, an expert in the printing business. He's here to tell us his struggles, his triumph, and how he has kept this business running over a period of 15 years in an economy that everybody complains is hard. Let's go check him out. Ali Babatunde, aka Guzon, aka Maximus, aka Designer. I've been in this printing business, if I should look back now, it should be about um, six, this 2006. Since 2006, give or take care about. So it should be about 15 years running now since I've been in this business. Yeah, I decided to go into this printing business like two years after my secondary school, looking at the situations of how employment and youth and everybody is growing in the country and how things has been. So I decided to enroll for a training of screen printing and other graphics things. So it was like two years after my secondary school. Looking back since when I've started this my job till now, a lot have changed, a lot really. As time evolves, many things also evolve, especially in the machinery aspect of the business. New machines have come up new instruments, new equipment and things like that, technology, especially technology. So a lot of things have changed. They are advanced in the work now and um, it's really effective and really good. Looking at the advancement of things that have come into the business right now, of course, it is always to the advantage of the person that is using the equipment. All the advanced equipment, all the machineries and technology has been an upgrade the printing business, looking back at 15 years back, our printing has been run to how printing is being run right now. So it has been helpful. Thank God for the invent of technologies on printing that has made everything easy. So far, so good. It has been helpful. Though, when you look at the rates at which equipment are being bought and how it is being collected, it's expensive, but it's worth giving it a try. In the aspect of me, Keeping on with the business, it has been challenging, really. It hasn't been easy. There have been lots of distractions, lots of disappointment, lots of mistakes, lots of so many things that has even given me the options of giving up on the business. But because when I do these things, I've been doing it with passion and mindset that one day it's going to take me to where I want to. So the passion has been an inspiration. The first work I did that this work gave me money. Since then, I've been believing that this work can give me the exact things that I've been desired to have. I started mine actually from my bedroom all the way coming. So screen printing is such a business that can come handy. You can actually start from a small space, then eventually grow it into something big. So mine actually started from my bedroom and thank God now I'm out of the bedroom. I'm in the bigger space right now. My new location hasn't gone far from, from where I used to be before. It's still located in the same town where I started and everything, but eventually we intend to spread. So my new, my new location is at 321 First Stack. My, my starting location was at 23 Road First Stack. So the two locations are in First Stack right now.
looking at the present regime that we tend to have now, and if we should look back into how other regimes has been coming, it has not been getting easy, rather it has been getting harder and harder. And if we should look, take a proper look at everything now, even with all the hardship and everything, we still see people making it coming out. So we, won't, we will not because of a situation that is hard and tend to give up just because the situation is hard and everything. Thank God, the, the main thing that is just there is just to understand market value, understand your customers, knowing how to relate to customers, blending into the market value together with the customers and everything so that you can provide for them the quality service that is actually needed. So that has been my secret, not giving up, not giving up, persisting, persisting on giving my clients a quality job and everything and they keep they keep coming and we keep we keep on keeping on. I have been facing some sort of new challenges since I came back I or I moved into this new place now. One of the challenges is that I'm new here so I, I am facing the challenge of getting people to know me, to know what I do. So that challenge of making people get to know me, trying to advertise myself trying to bring myself out to the people to make them know the kind of thing that I do here, trying to make in more customers and stuff like that. That has been one of the challenges. Then another challenge that is in there is trying to cope with the new machines that are coming because we still need we still need to look for a way to expertise on the usage of the machines and everything. Then other, ma other challenges that are there is competition. I tend to have competition around me in this new area, but any which way, even the competition is also good for the business. So I meet other challenges. Those are just one of the challenges I'm facing right now. On the situation of materials that we use for printing, the price is just going high skyrocketing into something that is difficult to afford and customers are complaining even we that do the production and render the service we are also feeling the pain because at the end of the day customer satisfaction is the most important thing so we are having that difficulty in that aspect when it comes to pricing some customers will even go away because of the price you give and tend to look for some way they can get an affordable price for goods or services that will be rendered to them. This is the place where I buy my materials and printing stuffs. Most of my equipment, I buy them here and everything. So right now, we've been facing issues of how the price has gone high and everything, how even the people that sell the materials for us complain about how high they get the materials also. So right now, I just hope that the economies can come stable down everything and um, make the prices of everything become stable so that we all can have a better market going down for everyone in the society. So the price of raw material is a challenge now, but we're trying our possible best to meet up so that we can render a good service to the customers. Then reaching, reaching the materials, reaching the materials around the new area here where I am, material is not as much as available as it is supposed to. So we try as much as possible to go the extra mile to ensure that we have all our materials available. We we'll buy them in bulk in excess so that before we run out, we'll be able to make provisions for other ones. This year is the year I moved into this new office and this new place, meaning that the last five years has been something I've been working on from home on crude materials and crude methodology of operation. So fortunately for me now, because of persistence and every other possible things, I've been able to move up to this level now. So if consistency continues, it means that in the next five years, I tend to see myself in a bigger position with the ambition of working with people like Ali Godangote and sort of. So I intend to move higher and further. Social media has boosted a lot of business. So looking at technology, social media, and everything that comes in together, as it has its advantage alongside with its disadvantage, we need to pick on this advantage side of the social media 
I have so many customers now that I work with that I have not even seen them one on one or meet them in person. But we tend to talk on phone, chat on the social media, and um, I have my goods and services rendered across to them. So the social media has been helpful. If one gets to know how to use it and follow up the importance of the social media, it's really a good thing and it helps in the line of business. What I have to say to young people is that it's a cold world out there, but there's a fire within you. All hope is based on God, learning and consistency for the goodwill. You can make it happen. And my social media is at Ali Guzon. For Instagram, my social media is at Ali Guzon. My email is maximus.place at gmail.com. And uh, my Twitter hand is at Ali Guzon also. My name is Ali Babatunde, aka Maximus, aka Guzon, aka Designer, and this is my journey so far. Hmm. We have all seen how it all went, the whole process to take achieve um, a single print, you know, in a typical working day of Ali Guzon. Um, this is what it takes, all the whole energy it takes to put up something like this. Yeah. They say that tough times requires tough people. And Ali Guzon has shown himself to be one of those tough people in this business atmosphere in a country like Nigeria. His office here in 321 solves all your printing problems, no matter the capacity you're aiming for. So, um, if you're close by in Festag and in Environ and anywhere you are in the country, as a matter of fact, he can get your work done for you and ship it down to where you are based on negotiation and at an agreed price. You know, so I urge you to come to 321 and have a good print like this done. So, um, for businesses like this that strive to keep it going in the country, it needs a conducive environment, either from the government or anybody out there that make businesses like this sustain its, its growth to that level that they want to go. So I'm calling on all the necessary bodies that are in charge of making businesses like this grow to become a global brand, to, to look into this um, part of the business know how to assist and make them grow to where they want to be. So um, a very big thank you to Ali Guzon, um, also known as Ali Baba, as we do call him, Ali Baba Tunde, you know. Um, so guys, this is what we have for you in this episode of The Process. And of course, you have seen the whole process of uh, what it takes to make a business like, like this come true. And make sure you subscribe to my channel Click the like button and share to help me, um, encourage me to do more videos like this for you to see. I'll be looking into young businesses in Festac and of course in Nigeria as a whole that are striving to stand to make their brand a global brand and bringing it to you to the comfort of your zone wherever you might be. It's your boy instinct and this is the process. Thank you.